Yes, guys, another one here with BBA. And uh, this visit is at Redditch Police Station. So we're in Redditch today. And that just over the road there in front of us is Redditch Police Station. So yeah, we're at the police station of Redditch. And this is West Mercia Police. A lot of cars in this car park. Hi, right, buddy. Look like over there is where they've got their own diesel and fuel pump. Diesel pump, there's a hose down there. So, this little area here I imagine is used for cleaning down the cars. There's a got two officers down here. No public right away. A lot of the time it doesn't have that on the car parks. There's no sign that says that you can't go on there, but that one does. It says, please no, no public right away. Strictly for disabled only. Got the uh, copper top again. I just like to highlight them. Can't see anything in that door. They've got someone in there, so we won't go inside. Got all the blinds shut. Got some kind of shutter there. I don't know what that's used for. be the back end of the station. It's 
taking a little walk round. I'll bring this back anyway. This side here is the courts. So this building here is the uh, magistrate's court. Um, and this one's the police station. I thought this was all part of the same site. Turns out it's not. That one is the courts. So, but still, this is quite a big station, to be fair. It's quite a big station. Got a couple going out there by himself. Got one going out there by himself, by the looks of it. Don't see anyone else coming out with him. Maybe he's got a colleague that's going to come out with him in a minute. I'm not too sure. I imagine this here is where the um, prison lorry comes in. Come in here, close the doors and the prisoners will go in and then it will come back out. It's quite an old building this one to be fair. Um, we've got here where it says no unauthorised entry beyond this point. So nobody obviously can go beyond there, which a lot of stations don't have them as well. Right. How are you, mate? You right? Yeah, good, thank you. I'm PC Hall. There's no idea if you want to see that. Yeah, no, cool. Just wondering what you're up to, that's all. Just uh, doing some filming around the station, mate, that's all. Sound noise. I could see you were just talking about the sign there. Yeah, not all stations, believe it or not, have, have signs. Have any on those nice signs? Yeah, there's, to be honest, there's a lot of stations, to be honest, that I've been to up and down the country, mate, that, yeah. don't, that don't have them on. So then what you do is you have people that will walk on not and then you'll have someone come out turn yeah, around saying, oh, you're not allowed out here. Um, so I like to document the fact that, because if they're there, if all the right signage is there and you've got the right barriers and stuff in yeah. place, then really, no for instance now, there would be no reason for me to step around there because so. it's all, do you know what I mean, clear for the public to yeah. see. So it's just nice to document that because sometimes you don't get that. And then what happens is you'll get people that don't quite know the way trespass and stuff works, private property. Yeah and they'll just step on unknowingly. Sounds um, noise, that's fine. But that's Crack it, on, bro. Obviously, vehicles coming in and out of here, sometimes at speed if you go down to the verge, so just don't get run over. Okay. Uh, if you want to film from the pavement, you know the crack, I'm sure, as well as I do, feel free, crack on. Yeah. Just, just don't enter the, like, the yard. That's no, of area. course. You want to you know them? I am, yeah. Yeah, yeah just start him. Uh, no, I'm part way through my shift. What time is it? I want to 11, so... Oh, I just thought maybe not in uniform. uniform. Hey, not I'm wear a uniform. CID. Oh, are you? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, okay, mate, spot on, pal. So that's why he's a little bit more professional, I imagine. See, idea a bit more clued up than your average PC, I must admit. Um, we've got quite a few cars in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's quite a few in here. That one, that one needs a clean. I feel like they're starting to learn at these stations slowly that it is okay to film. Um, and I think when you're approached in that kind of manner, um, you know, you, you, you don't mind cooperating, you know? You don't mind cooperating and being reasonable as they're showing you a level of um, respect and decency, which of course they are meant to do, so I don't feel that we should be uh, praising them too much for that. But it is always good to point it out, I feel. Um, but praising them, we won't do too much of that. But I do feel there is... Um, there is some education that's come on over the last two years and um, you know a lot of these places now you're finding that they're or I'm coming to find that a lot of them will kind of identify on the spot um, and they kind of 
they don't like the fact that you're filming but as long as you kind of stick to the basics which is kind of don't step onto private property and things like those they, they seem to kind of leave you alone and it has to uh they have to respect the fact that that is your your right to be able to do so um so yeah don't think we're gonna get too much here now it is starting to rain and it's starting to get on in the day He's sat up there in that window that's open. The, the guy that just approached me, he sat in that middle window there. It's slightly open, you can just see his head. The rain has started. Oh no, the rain! Come back round here. I was going to say, we'll see if the uh, member of the public is still waiting in the lobby. I imagine they probably are. Um, if they are, then maybe we're not going to be able to get a look. Uh, I don't know. Don't worry, bro, I won't get you in the shot. All right, mate, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. You? Yes, good, thank you, mate. Making That's why I just came in here quickly. I thought I'd be nosy in here. And hope that when I go back out in a second, it's stopped. But I don't think I'm going to be that lucky, to be honest, mate. <laughs> Uh, we're having kind of quite a mild, a mild um, autumn though so far, aren't we? So, you got long left on your shift. Hour or so. Yeah, then you're done for the day. That's it. Fantastic. Cheers, then, mate. Thanks ever so much. Okay. No worries. Cheers, pal. Just me being. Pardon? Are you local? Um, Just me being uh, Birmingham area. Oh, okay. I, yeah. That's where I'm living now. The accent won't give away Birmingham, but no, I live in Birmingham area. Oh, okay. So just in the area, I thought I'd pop in, kind of do this on a regular yeah, basis. Um, that, that's it, yeah. So, but yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you anyway, yeah. Cheers, pal. Thanks for your time. Got the old uh, knife amnesty bins here. Nice to see. And uh, yeah. It's nice to see that when you walk in and uh, you go to look at the uh, public notices that he's there respectful and he was quite respectful there. So this particular, and it's Halloween tonight guys, so trick or treat, trick or treat. Sorry, no trick or treat, trick or treat. So yeah, uh, hope by the time this goes out, Halloween would have passed. So I hope everyone had a great Halloween and um, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. I'm going to give Redditch Police Station on this occasion a big thumbs up um, on the audit as everyone kind of just allowed me to go around what I was doing there. Maybe he shouldn't have approached me back down there and he should have left me to it until um, I passed. But listen... I don't mind, as long as they're, uh, again, cordial and respectful with me, I'll always be the same back. So thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, if you would, and I'll uh, see you all on the next one. Much love, God bless, and peace out.